Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to talk about the SketchUp, how to start working with it, how to add menus, and where the basic things you need to do before start modeling. So how about I go with architectural maybe meters? Uh, first time you open a SketchUp, it's going to look like this. But usually you're going to need uh, so many more uh, actually menus here. Right? How do we bring the menus? The easiest way to do so is right click here and uh, bring them one by one. So this is getting started. It's a good menu. I'm going to keep it. Uh, we can work with, let's say, edit. Edit is, is a good one. Let's say the standard is always good because you can open file and everything. Or you can find these options mainly in the file and edit menus as well. Uh, well, drawing, you can bring it. That's good. I would like to have my views here. This is one of the important ones. And it's going to be easier to switch between top, right, left, and perspective and other views. And uh, maybe I can try to put this in actually two rows here. And as we have most of these over there, I'm going to close this one for edit and instead I want to go with something uh, called large tool set and it usually goes there so many of the items here are over there so maybe I can close this one too I usually like the large tool set to be over there I want the menus to be here uh, and the warehouse the icon is here too so maybe you don't need to bring it uh, this is the starting, the getting started menu. So some of the things here uh, are also included in other uh, menus. So warehouse is here. I don't need to bring it. Uh, you can bring camera. Maybe we can just leave it here. It also has some zoom options. Uh, construction, it's good because uh, it also gives you uh, a chance to uh, major things so I'm gonna put it there and then the camera and maybe I can also add the styles here over there so this is gonna quickly switch between uh, wireframe hidden line and so on uh, later we can talk about sections shadows uh, even sandbox and so on so for now I'm not gonna bring them because it's getting a bit cluttered here I'm gonna continue with what we have here the uh, next thing I want to talk about is the items under window and uh, the model info there are a set of tabs here of course we're gonna use this for animation later um, this is for your dimension style uh, this is about uh, the location of your files. Uh, I'll talk about geolocations, but what I like here is the units, right? Uh, units is one of the main things that you need to check when you work with every software and you open it for the first time. Uh, so I usually prefer to go with meters and three decimal places. Two decimal places show centimeters, which is not that helpful, but when you put it on three decimal places, the three digits after the point show the millimeters, which is very helpful. I'm going to leave the rest, but notice that you can uh, switch between fractional and engineering and uh, imperial and uh, metric, even though you might have chosen a different template. Uh, it's going to snap every 10 centimeters. I'm going to leave it for now. And for the angle, it's going to snap every 15 degrees. I'm going to leave that for now as well. Uh, you can also change how the text looks like. We can come back to this maybe later. Under window, so, so far I showed items under modern info. There is also some good things under preferences. Notice that I had chosen architectural metric. You can also select other um, templates from here. Uh, under accessibility, you see the red axis shows uh, X axis, the green shows the Y axis, and the blue is the Z axis. This is also the same format in Rhino, Rhinoceros. So, and that's what I'm used to. So I'm going to leave it as it is, but you can change them, of course. 
under files you can see that where you add some stuff where they go so that's also good in, good information and under general you see that it's gonna make a backup every actually make a backup and it's gonna auto save it every five minutes so this is also good and another important thing here is the shortcuts right some of the shortcuts might be similar to other software that you use such as AutoCAD, Revit, Rhino and so on but some of them might be very different right so besides what you can do with your mouse to orbit around the uh, screen uh, there are some items here too for instance if you go with O it's gonna orbit I'm gonna show you in a bit uh, H is for pan P is not for pan because P is for push or pull we'll talk about it later and uh, Z is for zoom and something very useful is uh, shift and Z or you can go with control shift E but shift and Z is easier that's for zoom extent so a for arcs for a two-point arc L is for line so that's an easy one C is for circle R is for rectangle so R is not for rotate is for rectangle uh, P has nothing because P is already assigned to push and pull right also if you move down there are some good things under tools here for instance E is for eraser M is for move offset is F because O is for orbit uh, push and pull is P rotate is Q because uh, R is for rectangle right so these are some important ones uh, you can go one by one and check them all so let's say if I want to draw a rectangle I can either go here or I can find it in my menus on the tabs up there or I can type R right so I can type R if I want to push it up to become a volume I can of course push it from here or type P right if you go with like O as we talked about that's for orbit H is for pan right and Z is for zoom and shift and Z is for zoom extent as we go on we might use some of the shortcuts more often and you might get used to that uh, some of them are very useful such as L for line M for move uh, C for circle uh, and so on another thing I would like to talk about is maybe the items under 3d warehouse so, so if I go to 3d warehouse you see that there are so many interesting objects and components um, and many of them are free under 3d warehouse but you need to sign in for that right so I'm gonna click here is it asks me to sign in I'm gonna sign in uh, so that was about 3D Warehouse. Another thing that uh, kind of needs you to sign in is location or geolocation and uh, that is under model info, geolocation and you can add location. Uh, you should have signed in here uh, and of course it has some information for you the first time you sign in and you can go with an address. How about I put the college address here? And I can select a region, say provider, digital globe. Uh, you can make it uh, bigger or smaller, and uh, I can import it. So now the site is over there. If I zoom in here, you see that uh, human figure that was there before already. So this is uh, exactly up to scale. Uh, if you don't want to see it or you want to bring it back later, uh, you can of course go to model info and clear location Z or shift and Z for zoom uh, so that's about it uh, the first time you bring these menus they're gonna stay there uh, next times you open the SketchUp